दिनेश कामत जी फ्रेंड्स and in the audience i must uh, specially recognize uh, the presence of dr gauri mahulikar she has come here several times in the past but uh, uh, i hope you'll keep coming more often now and our dear friend uh, <coughs> mitesh kathira co-organizer of this event gives me great pleasure to welcome shri dinesh kamath ji to give a talk on an important subject uh, a talk that is very topical because of uh, the kind of debate that has once again begun in india on the relevance of sanskrit but before i say uh, briefly you know my own views uh, on the relevance of sanskrit i must tell you friends i am meeting uh, dinesh ji for the first time although uh, observer research foundations uh, association with sanskrit bharati uh, goes back uh, to 2010 itself when we had an occasion to invite chamu krishna shastri ji uh, you know the former organizing secretary of sanskrit bharati to give a talk here <clears throat> now chamu krishna shastri ji has some other responsibility in sanskrit bharati uh, and uh, when nitesh ji and i discussed that we should have something uh, to to contribute to this debate positively contribute to the debate on uh, relevance of sanskrit it occurred to us that we should invite dinesh ji to give us his perspective on the debate he comes from uh, my state karnatak so we got talking to each other before the before this event uh, started and i learned friends something very important and that goes to the heart of uh, one aspect of the relevance of sanskrit it's generally believed that sanskrit is very difficult to learn uh, those of us who have learned uh, even though we have forgotten a little bit of what it little bit of what we have learned we know that we enjoyed learning sanskrit but for someone to take the responsibility of being the organizing secretary of sanskrit bharati which is a very very big responsibility it came as a big surprise to me when he told me that uh, he did not he did not have that level of uh, knowledge of sanskrit as is required by uh, the position he holds that is the organizing secretary about i think 9 ni years back that he hmm? so when this was entrusted to him he said that but i don't know i don't know sanskrit i can't speak in sanskrit but uh, the the people uh, you know who who guide the activities of sanskrit bharati said no you have to do it it is uh, it is a requirement of the organization because now Ch chamu krishna, krishna shastri ji has uh, you know he feels that no more hands are needed more people are needed and you have to do it and friends he applied himself he decided that he is going to learn or relearn sanskrit to a level that is required of the organizing secretary of the organization and he learnt it in just 6 weeks flat hmm? he completed all the four basic courses 
in just six weeks and I'm sure that when he he's not going to really speak to us in Sanskrit because not many of us here in the audience may understand but uh, he and many others are a kind of an advertisement of the fact that Sanskrit is not difficult to learn it's not difficult to learn even to speak the language of course understanding Sanskrit is is not at all difficult for Indians whether our mother tongue is Marathi or Hindi or Bengali or Malayalam because Sanskrit is the mother of most Indian languages and not just our languages but our cultural spiritual heritage the recent debate is a godsend for Sanskrit because it has it has made uh, not just people at the top but the entire student community and the teacher community debate the importance or the need for Sanskrit not just because it is imposed by the government but people are really beginning to ask the right kind of questions you know we have nothing against German but why is it that uh, as a third language a foreign language is more preferable to something that is the mother of all Indian languages and therefore I personally strongly welcomed the decision taken by the government it is going to give a big Philip to the learning of Sanskrit especially to the younger generation so that millions of people will will reconnect to our heritage our intellectual heritage our spiritual heritage our scientific heritage and Mahuli Karji tells me that uh, early next month when there is the Indian Science Congress taking place in in Mumbai for the first time in the 102 year history of the Indian Science Congress there is going to be a session devoted to the scientific heritage in Sanskrit the heritage of science and technology in Sanskrit so this is an opportunity for us to reconnect ourselves to our heritage and friends it's unfortunate that in recent decades a certain intellectual approach got established that Sanskrit equals saffronization Sanskrit is somehow anti-secular Sanskrit is Brahminism as a result it got caught in this secularism versus communism debate and became a victim of neglect which was not which was not the thinking of the the founders of our freedom movement or the architects of our constitution not many people know that it was none other than dr baba sahib ambedkar in 1949 in the constituent assembly you know where he was the chairman of the drafting committee he moved an amendment to substitute Hindi with Sanskrit so as to make Sanskrit the official language of India how many people in the Dalit movement today know this and here you know I would like to read out two passages of Jawaharlal Nehru's thoughts on Sanskrit you know we are today this year we are celebrating the 125th birth anniversary of Nehruji the first Prime Minister of India I personally believe that you know despite some mistakes that he may have committed 
he was a patriot he was a great nationalist and he understood the importance of india's heritage and this is what he says about about sanskrit jawaharlal nehru on the sans, on the subject of sanskrit around the time that india's language policy was being debated in the constituent assembly nehru said and this is reported in the hindu newspaper of 13th february 1949 and i'm quoting nehru ji if i was asked what is the greatest treasure which india possesses and what is her finest heritage i would answer unhesitatingly it is the sanskrit language and literature and all that it contains this is a magnificent inheritance and so long as this endures and influences the life of our people so long the basic genius of india will continue nehru ji subsequently you know in the azad maulana azad memorial lecture he returns to the subject of sanskrit and nehru ji says india built up a magnificent language sanskrit and through this language and its art and architecture it sent its vibrant message to far away countries it produced the upanishads the bhagavad gita and the buddha hardly any language in the world has probably played as vital a part in the history of a race as sanskrit has it was not only the vehicle of the highest thought and some of the finest literature but it became the uniting bond for india the uniting bond for india even though there were political divisions the ramayana and the mahabharat were woven into the texture of millions of lives in every generation for thousands of years i have often wondered i have often wondered if our race forgot the buddha the upanishads and the great epics what then would it be like somehow in subsequent years we forgot the importance of sanskrit and a perception developed that sanskrit is a dead language if not a di- di- you know difficult language and therefore it's good that the new government has begun promoting sanskrit in educational institutions but a lot more needs to be done and in doing this the contribution of sanskrit bharati has been absolutely matchless i don't think any other organization in the country has has done so much for the cause of sanskrit as as sanskrit bharati has done it has really made promotion of sanskrit a mass movement for which we really must applaud and salute people like dinesh kamat chamu krishna shastri and friends thousands of thousands of dedicated sanskrit activists who without the necessary resources you know so there is not much of uh, financial or institutional backing for the promotion of sanskrit it is the dedication it is the commitment it is the determination that has produced results and i'm sure that in years to come this movement is going to grow even bigger and we are here to learn from uh, dinesh kamath ji how sanskrit bharati has has uh, has achieved what it has achieved and what more it plans to achieve thank you very much and once again a very warm welcome to you dhanyawad